It does today, not for tennis, but no. a good day for painting. Yes. Actually, like being a painter for the simple reason of the colours, I'm attracted to all the colours of the paint. And the other thing is a sort of form for me, it's a form of meditation. My name is Alfred Coolwell. I've come from a little place called Bow Desert, which is uh, 20 k's in from the Gold Coast and 25 k's south of Brisbane, southeast Queensland. The name of my tribe is called the Mullanjali tribe. Uh, for me, um, my Aboriginality, it's been like, uh, like my apprenticeship, it's been a long journey. I am one of the, one of the stolen generations. Um, I grew up with a white family. For years when I was uh, fostered out by um, non-Indigenous people, you're always curious where you come from, who your parents are. And for me, it was, um, it was a great journey, but at the same time, I never got to see my mum and dad. I was probably one u unique case in the stolen generation because most people find their mum or dad. Me, I didn't find neither. But, you know, I don't begrudge that. The best thing that happened to me was I found all my brothers and sisters. My foster father gave me a good job as an apprenticeship for painting. I did four years at uh, Yoronga Tech College in Brisbane. Education's very important. I was mighty proud the day I got my um, trade certificate. It was the, like, it was a great sense of achievement. Once you've done an apprenticeship and a trade, you can always go back. That is the beautiful thing. Uh, Dave, I'll get you to cut that in. What you're doing? Just carry on and then I'm going to roll in, come in behind you and roll it. Uh, the other things I do outside of um, my painting, of my trade, is I, I teach Indigenous kids how to play tennis. I'm also t coaching non-Indigenous people as well. I'm a tennis player for 30 years. It's a case of I never picked the sport, the sport picked me. So if any of you kids out there see me, uh, just call me Mullinjali Man. <laughs>